I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we prowl our Going for a Drive. Daily driving my 1999 Plymouth Prowler. Go ahead. Send it. <laughs> that auto stick. 253 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque. Well, thank you for that information. And I bought it for 28,500 Canadian with 26,000 miles on it. That was a solid deal. Probably the cheapest Prowler I could have gotten at the time. With the highest mileage? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so I've owned the Prowler for a couple months. Now it's time to do our daily driving video and I haven't taken it through Cliche Corner and I haven't given it the little film routine we do, so I needed to get that footage for my home memories. Yeah, watch my previous Raptor update, but this is gonna be focused on Yuri's with a little bit of Raptor updates as well. So have you noticed anything daily driving that you love or hate about this car now that you've owned it for a couple months? Okay, driving a convertible is a pain because it gets loud and you gotta move the top up and down every time you park so people don't steal stuff from your car. So I did get musician earplugs made for my ears. Yes, you did. That drops everything down 25 decibels and they're great. I am also super paranoid about parking it everywhere because everyone looks at it and I feel like everyone's gonna try to hit it with their door. Well, because now you have a fancy car that you care about. Exactly. Yep. It's a burden. <laughs> <laughs> and before I keep going, I'm gonna put it into my auto stick to second and cliche corner send. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, she sends. It grips, it grips right through. <laughs> It actually does. <laughs> no oversteer, no understeer, just perfect steer. That's great. And these Continentals really help too. Yes, so I got Continental Conti Sport Contact 5 tires for it. They're fantastic. And the thing with the Prowler is the tires are so wide in the back and there's so little horsepower that you can't really get the back to break loose ever. Yeah, you almost actually can't do a burnout anymore. I can't do a burnout. It's <laughs> pathetic, unless it's raining. Yeah. And the funniest thing that I noticed is because of the size on the back, it actually says that you have an SUV size tire for the back, which Le is crazy. Legit. <laughs> and I'm not going to drive this in the winter, so I don't need winter tires. But for everyone who's driving this winter, put on winter tires as soon as you can. Do it! You should definitely have winter tires! Don't be the person who causes an accident because you got stuck or slipped out. And what I've also noticed daily driving this, it's actually faster than everyone thinks it is. It's actually pretty fast. Should we uh, drag race the Raptor? Not that we already haven't. Let's just cut to the clip. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I got a better launch that time. Come on, baby! No, on, he's still baby. pulling away. <laughs> He's still pulling away. Ah, he got me. How about I start at the back and you start where you want and I'll count us in. Okay, sounds good. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he got a little bit of a jump on me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got this. this. Is gonna oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ah. This is gonna be a photo finish. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think your mustache might have beat me. <laughs> that was actually the most fun. That's so much more rewarding than like just drag racing from the same line. Were you as surprised as I was? I was a little bit, but not that surprised. Like this is a car and that's a truck. Yeah, and it's pretty lightweight. But I did recently get a new exhaust for my Raptor. So here's what the Corsa exhaust sounds like. And here's a launch with the Raptor. Here's what the Prowler exhaust sounds like. And here's a launch for the Prowler. Let us know who won that exhaust battle. I think I may have won this round. Follow us on Instagram, the Stray Pipes Yuri Tarashin. Okay, and the reason I didn't change my exhaust is because I like a quieter sounding car. Like I don't wanna like drone myself to death. And this actually sounds pretty good. It sounds fine for what it is like, after driving it for a while, yeah, it probably should have had a V8. But what changed? We both got new license plates. Yes, <laughs> give me some. We got Stray Pipes license plates, both written in Stray Pipes, so, but just slightly different. Yeah, Pipes with a Y and Pipes with an I. So yeah, let so us know which one you like y, better more. <laughs> and then being out in public every day, how much attention do you get in your Raptor? A pretty decent amount, nothing close to this. You get noticed a lot, 
but my car gets noticed by everybody, people who aren't straight pipers. That's right, yeah. So shout out to you guys that follow us on Instagram, send us DMs, spot us, tag us in stories, we love it. But for me, it's mostly little kids who are just like, oh my God. Yeah. And then you know what the other demographic is? Old people. Older women, specifically. <laughs> Fancy yellow car. Ah, you like it? Yeah. Way better than that Raptor, eh? Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we've got a lot of other stuff we need to talk about, but first I want you in the driver's seat so you can tell everybody how fast the Prowler is and how precise it is through Cliche Corner. But first, today's sponsor, you guys. Thank you all for watching, thank you all for subscribing, hitting the notification bell and leaving comments. You guys made all of this happen. We have our dream cars, we get to do all these cool videos and for everyone who's not subscribed, if you subscribe, you'll be thanked in the next video. Yeah. All right, time for me to send your car. Yeah, yeah, it's so fast. Auto stick, launch control. <laughs> that auto stick is hilarious. Like it just hits. It, every time it shifts, it kicks you back. Just like that first one we drove, watch that review. But most of it's pretty similar. It is very similar. But this one does definitely feel the best out of all the ones that we test drove before you bought this one. And it's mine. Exactly. It is going to soon be the most viewed Prowler on YouTube. <laughs> it probably actually will be. What about Doug? That, I gotta pass Doug and I gotta pass Corridor Cruise GTA 5 virtual reality video. Oh yeah, okay. And now I wanna talk about celebrities and our dream cars. Did you know that Prince owned a purple Prowler? I did, because you showed me before. And that The Rock drove a purple Prowler in that movie? The Rock also drove and owns a Raptor. So I bought that Prince photo book just to get all the Prince pictures with him and the Prowler, and I'm going to recreate that with my black sweater. I hope you guys like that. Hey, the moment you've all been waiting for, cliche corner in the Prowler. Let's see if I can make this thing oversteer. All right, here we go. Dude, this is pretty neutral. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is honestly hilarious. This feels fantastic through here, man. If parts weren't so expensive, I would definitely beat it up way more. There's like almost no body roll. Like this is just straight up F1 suspension. I like I, I love seeing it too. I mean, it's hard to see it from the driver's seat. If I go like that, I can see it. But when it's driving beside me, it's amazing. Okay, get it out of the auto stick. Let's talk about right. the parts. Is there a problem with parts? Yeah, there's a huge problem because they stopped making the parts and uh, they're hard to find, they're super expensive, so Prowler owners make their own parts and they put them on Prowler Online, this amazing Prowler form straight out of 1997. Yeah, Prowler Online sounds like something like uh, a little bit of a weird name. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the good Prowler <laughs> yeah, yeah, Online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Ben, he said I need new lower ball joints and I need newer linkage arms. Shout out Ben, our mechanic. Dixie Blur Service. He fixed up Jacob's Raptor too, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So I made a post on an internet forum asking for the parts and they said, go to this thread, send the guy a PayPal, and the parts will show up that he made himself. Did they show up? Yes, I went to that forum link from 2013 and just sent money and the part showed up. Well, that's great. <laughs> you know, hold this for me or press these ball joints out. Ranch every day. <laughs> and then while we were at Ben's, we were looking at the car on the lift and how crazy is like the whole structure of it. It's pretty crazy to see underneath. And then I found one little weird thing. It looks like there's two straps holding the body to the frame? No, so what that is, it's just a spacer so that the frame doesn't scratch up against the body panel of the rocker. Okay, but it's like fabric, like a rope. Yeah, and then what other cool stuff is down there? We've got the triangle exhaust pipe. Yeah, you actually have a triangular muffler which fits in the middle of everything, which is crazy to see. And then most of it is aluminum, then it's all like riveted together. My mechanic Ben is a little rattled that he can't stick his flashlight anywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. And I guess that's pretty much it for parts. It's been pretty good so far. Nothing's really broken. You did get a check engine light, but it fixed itself. Yeah, so I need to fix my uh, fuel filler or something because it keeps stopping the gas. Pump. I think it's like the purge valve or the evap canister or yeah. something like that. Like a glove. <laughs> In the meantime, Rich from the Boss Garage told me if I click forward and back three times before I start it, It'll solve that and yeah. it works every single time. It, so shout out to the boss. It kind of like primes the fuel pump yeah, or something could, like that. You can hear it clicking right here. It works. And now we've got to talk about one of the most important people who have helped us out, Gzox. Yeah, so Gzox Canada did paint correction and ceramic coating for both of our cars and it turned out amazing. So my Prowler was like really scratched up. I guess everyone who owned it before just washed it with paper towels from the gas station or, or something. sandpaper or something. Yeah, so he spent a lot of time fixing it up and it came out looking so creamy and perfect. Check out the pictures on Instagram. Here they are right now. You really need to follow us to stay up to date. Yeah, and my Raptor was fixed perfectly. Apparently it was keyed before. He also fixed that. 
it looks amazing. Even my vinyl decal was kind of like grayish from being faded. Now it's black. So here on my dashboard, how it's color matched, he put a little piece of tape to cover up that little black nick that was there as well. These guys go all out. So I would highly recommend if you've got a car that you really care about, an old muscle car, or newer sports car, whatever, check out Gzox. It's it just, it's so amazing how much nicer it is now. Okay. Visor test. Okay. Um, nope. Nah, fail. Supercar pass. <laughs> it does have a cup holder. It works perfectly. How do you like parking this thing? Because I can't park this at all. I don't like parking it, but I'm slightly better at parking than you are because it's a pizza shape, so you don't know where your wheels are. And the mirrors are inside the car. They don't go past the wheels. Think about that. No car has that. I know. So I'm scared to parallel park this because I don't want to wreck the wheels. Do you want to see a cool thing that the Prowler has that most other cars don't? I would love to. When you put in your key, this part here is padded so that your key fob doesn't make any noise. That's straight up luxury. Next level. Yeah. That's old school luxury because now nobody has a key anymore. I think I need that on my Raptor, actually. Oh, I'll call the engineers from Plymouth. <laughs> and I've gotten really used to the auto meter tack on the steering wheel column. It's great. All the gauges are good. Everything about driving this is fun. And even driving with the roof up is great because like, there's just enough visibility, but it's hard for someone like your size. Yeah, I don't really fit in here with the roof up. But it still does leak right through here and right through there. So I need to avoid driving in the rain or at least heavy rain. That's just a prowler thing. Like Ben can't even really fix that really. I think I need to put like silicone seal on there. I, I don't it's know. It's something that you don't really want to do. And I finally became a full fledged prowler guy when I was gifted a little yellow prowler. That's a pretty sweet little model. And it has the exact same matte wheels and grayish bumpers. And you actually went to this 80s, 90s car show, which I was unable to attend due to my 2010 Ford Raptor. Yeah, so Oblivion car show it was at Ontario Place. It was the sickest, but you know what? I was straight up rattled. I didn't win anything because like, <laughs> like I thought I would get like at least fan favorite or something, but it's the Subaru Brat that just beat everyone out. I could see that. But did you like my outfit? I went uh, 1999. Yes, you did. Right at the limit. You were kind of between NSYNC and Limp Bizkit. Couple more Prowler things. There's no dead pedal. How much does that suck? It does suck. You have nowhere to put your foot I and know. there's no trunk room. So you have nowhere to put your stuff. Yeah, I've been hauling all your stuff pretty much all the time. Currently, all of his junk from the passenger seat is in my Raptor. Love it. So I think you need to get a trailer because I'm sick of hauling your stuff. Jacob has to drive because I need to put his luggage here. Because my Raptor doesn't fit in the underground parking. Prowler life and the trunk doesn't work. <laughs> And Speed Academy did take my Prowler onto the track, so they did do a video on it. Check that out to see the lap time they sent. That's right, everybody. This is Dave coming to you in a Prowler. And we had a big meet with Speed Academy, Savage Geese, Gears and Gasoline, and it was amazing. Yes, and I was lapping the Prowler the whole time. I couldn't catch anyone except for BRZs on stock wheels, but I had a great time. All right, that's their thing, right? They test their visors to see if they slide. This doesn't yeah. even fold out. What is this? What the heck? Come on. Your own car doesn't even pass the visor test. Anymore. Yeah, and I only took one lap in my Raptor because that's when I found out about that IWE problem, so I didn't want to start breaking drive shafts and stuff. Yeah, but big shout to Dov at NV Auto and Uli at Toronto Motorsports Park because they put on the craziest event. It was so good. Yeah, it was amazing. I want to do it again next year. Maybe we'll go even bigger. I also really love these nets down by the drive shaft. It's so good for putting your phone in your garage door opener and all your junk. I can't believe more new cars don't have that. And another cool thing is that the reading lamps, when you turn them on at night, it only lights up your yellow dash. Oh, that's pretty fancy. So it doesn't blind you at all. It just makes you look cooler from the outside. Did you know that this Prowler has magic windshield wipers? I didn't. It shoots the water out that way so it doesn't spray into the cabin. Oh, that was like a 90s like GM thing, I think. And maybe even a Mercedes thing. Yeah, they stole it from me. Yeah. Do you find the seats in the Prowler comfortable? Relatively comfortable, but in the position that I'm most comfortable in, my knee kind of hits the front of the dash. I can't get myself super comfortable in this car. Yeah. That, that's probably my biggest disappointment is that it's not as comfy as I thought it'd be. That makes sense. So let's get into updates on my Raptor. A couple things obviously broke. I am now at 363,000 kilometers as of today. Recently, my IWEs went in the front. So what that means is it was trying to kind of catch four wheel drive when I didn't want it to be in four wheel drive. And it's a very common F-150 problem, not specific to the Raptor. It was a pretty cheap fix, so shout out to Ben for fixing that. So the next thing that went wrong was this little blower door actuator. Again, common problem on every F-150. It was like a $30 part, but a bunch of labor because it was behind the dash. But now that's fixed, so now I have heat and cold on both sides and I can regulate it normally. 
And then how about cosmetically, what have you done? More functional, but also kind of cosmetic. I have been running on my general grabbers for a long time, but I did put the white walls on the outside. Ah, that's so good. I love it. And so the most obvious visual change I did, I did get new headlights. So shout out to Raptor Retrofit for making me these custom headlights exactly how I wanted them. Okay, okay. Those headlights, anytime I see a first gen Raptor without those headlights, it looks like it's missing something because it's such a seamless fitting headlight. Yeah, and they customize it to exactly how I wanted it. So I wanted the amber LEDs, kind of like the newer Raptors, and I got nice projectors so I'm no longer blind at night. And then I also had them custom paint the SVT badge into my reflector. So overall, the headlights look and perform amazingly. And then next thing is your exhaust. Yeah, so shout out to Raptor Racing for sourcing this exhaust for me at a really good price. So I did get the Corsa Extreme exhaust and it is definitely extreme. I love how it sounds. And the best part is there's no droning to your exhaust. Yeah, so it's a really crazy design. It looks like it's straight through the muffler, but there's like these baffles that the air goes through. Anyways, whatever they did, straight up witchcraft because my wife fully approves of it and it almost sounds stock on the highway, but when you're on it, it is so loud. I approve of it. Yeah, and, and your ears and can't hate think. droning exhaust. Exactly, no, this is perfect. I am so happy with his exhaust. And the final thing that I did, well, Chris Fix did, I did get bed lights for my Raptor. Chris Fix installed them for me, and I've actually been using my bed more because of them. So overall, do you approve the Prowler? Absolutely. Is it fast? Yes, it's decent. Handles well? Yes, it handles pretty well. Do you approve of my Raptor? Oh yes, I love the headlights and I love the exhaust. And how do you how do you like the paint? The paint is fantastic on both cars now. And the tires. Yeah, on shout, both cars. Shout out our sponsors <laughs> and shout out you guys. So overall, thank you guys for subscribing. We couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments what cars you guys want us to review and what types of videos you guys want us to do. More road trips, more stuff like that, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out patreon.com slash the straight pipe, join our YouTube membership, and check out Teespring to support us with some merch as well because we got some sick drip.